how to use smart sheet smart sheet tutorial for beginners hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel today we will be taking a look at how you can use smart sheet for all of your project management needs so let's get into it now i have signed up for smart sheet it's super easy to start your trial you can just head on over to smartsheet.com and you can click on try smart sheet for free and that is it so after that you can simply enter your email address and a suitable password to get started now once you get started this will be your home page so this is the basic home section of smartsheet on the left you have a navigation panel so in this navigation panel you have your home page currently my you know smartsheet is empty so there's nothing to show on my home page but over here you can usually get a summary of everything that you have present within your smartsheet section so next up you have notifications then you have your browse section where you can upload multiple different worksheets and you can create them on their platform as well then you also have recently opened you have favorites and then you have your work app so in your work app section if you open this up you can go on ahead and link multiple different applications and you will be able to you know see a app that you have previously used in combination with smartsheet and be able to access those over here now below that you have a solution center so depending on what you want to do on smartsheet so if you want to do project management you can easily get started with a template so you can see they have quite a few different templates available they have template sets they have add-ons they have you know a bunch of different things so uh, let's say that i want a general management template and you can see we have the annual calendar balance scorecard business budget management so let's say for my project i'm gonna go with the agile project with gantt chart so this is something that it could can be you know super helpful in smart sheets to include and create your project so you can just click on use over here and once you click on use this will open up the smart sheet application and we will just close this for now and now just like that you can see a worksheet has been created based on this template now this is the template pasted directly from you know the actual template center you can remove some of the data you can see that even if you want to do project management they can do it in a very very simple fashion that is going to be very easy to manage and also accessible to all of your teammates so uh, first off the first section is agile project and then you have sprint one which is you know what are the tasks of your project usually in a project management software you would find this in the form of cards or tasks so you have export reports of user and their assigned projects and you have task one task two then you have the duration you can enter those then you have the start date and you can also uh you know specify certain fields into being number only fields so the date ones the money ones could be marked as those fields so people enter you know other information in those then you can also enter the statuses sprint and notes then after that you also have this calendar in which you can monitor how much time it's going to take for a project to get started so let's say you have our sprint one this is going to be uh, finished by this date you have the second section so you can monitor the time it takes now you also have conversations that you can have so the team members can collaborate then on the right side you also have attachments where you can attach different documentations for your project then you also have proof so if uh, you know there is something that people need to um you know verify with your team let's say that a salesperson needs to upload their sales personally you know their sales verifications over here so they can do it in the proof section then you have a brand folder brand folders are super important for large corporations to be able to uh, manage your overall um, assets so this is going to be a good option for those that are working in a larger enterprise then you have things such as publish activity logs and summaries now let's begin by creating our own little smart sheet for project management and i'm going to show you guys a simple one if you want a more complicated one you can definitely get started with a template but if you find a template overwhelming simply head on over to your smart sheet we're going to click on don't save and you can see we have our sheets over here we have you know empty sheet so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on create and i will just click on over here and i will click on let's say project and i will name this project maybe sales project so i'm going to click on ok and then I'm just going to open up the sheet. Now you can see this is empty. Now in a empty template, what you're going to find is your task name, the duration, the start and finish date, the predecessors, if there is anything that you want to link. If you don't have, you know, a column that is going to fulfill that. So we can just click on delete and we can click on delete over here. And we're going to click on oh, over here. 
So we have dependencies enabled. We can disable the dependencies. We have working days you can add. You also have predecessors, percentage completed. So let's say instead of that, I have percentage completed or in the predecessors comment, I just want to uh, add comments or the duration. So that's totally up to you. I'm going to remove dependencies because I don't need these. And I will just click on delete column now. Then I have assigned to percentage completed status. Then we have comments over here so uh you can add more columns if you want so i'm just going to move the comment section like so so you can extend the calendar and the comments and you can go on ahead and click on insert column left and then you can choose what kind of column you want so let's say i want a text slash number column and this might be called a uh, client so client name maybe i want to enter the client name as well let's say i want to move this to the first to the start so i'm just going to move this to the start by a simple drag and drop over here so first off now i'm going to go to my far left and in my left section over here i can enter my task name so let's say the first task is to launch the instagram for marketing then you can enter the duration one day then you can enter the start date so you can open up the calendar let's say on the 28th i want to do that and it should be finished on that date as well so you can enter whatever date you want then you can assign it to a certain person so if you have people added in your workspace assign it to them and whenever you are assigned a specific project you can get a, a notification as well and plus you will also be able to see when you have to do that project on the calendar section so if you're a manager you can manage all of your team members and see who is supposed to be doing what at a certain time you can manage worksheets you can manage balance sheets especially if you have you know round the clock service so let's say you work in a service center and you want to be able to shift out all of your employees so you can shift them from nine to five then from five to six or five to ten whatever your schedules might be so you can further schedule their times as well then you can enter the client name the percentage completed the status so on and so forth then on the top you also have other integration features where you can highlight certain things you also have other highlighting options or dependencies you could add you can add money so if you want to you know put a estimate of revenue or sales or how much income you're generating you can put a money column as well or a you know currency column to see how much evaluations this project or deal or this specific task in my project has so in this way you can get started with smartsheet as a project management software so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video